Winning Gatorade um, the first year was um, a big excitement for me. And then winning it again junior year um, was pretty exciting. Uh, but winning it three times in a row, I mean, it's kind of cool to hang three banners up in my gym, um, three Gatorade banners up. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without my teammates and my coach, John Noonan. He really pushed me um, to just keep getting better and better every day. All the way up. From the season, I learned to be a leader because um, that was definitely a quality that I did not have, um, or more of a vocal leader um, instead of being a leader by just my basketball skills, trying to be a leader in practice, um, trying to motivate my teammates more, um, trying to get them prepared for the tournament. Um, and we had such a hard schedule this year that I think that helped us a lot to come back into state and be able to play some of these teams here um, because those were really tough games that we played. And I also learned that from losing in the semis the past two years when I was a sophomore and junior that working harder in practice really helps. Um, and the harder you work in practice, the more successful you'll be in tournament time. There you go. Quick. Hey. Some things that I could work on going into my freshman year of college would be getting faster and stronger, getting my shot off a lot quicker because the college game is definitely a lot quicker and faster than high school and I'm definitely going to be playing against a taller girls and faster girls so different finishes around the basket just being more creative cross 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 hey cross hey get it up there it goes cross 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 head up cross <laughs> there it goes hey like a lot of people don't understand to be successful, it all starts with like a work ethic. Like it just doesn't come overnight. You have to put the work in. Whether she's working out with me or a coach or another trainer, Adriana is just constantly looking to work and get better. You know what I mean? It's not always about who you work out. It's like the work that you actually put in when you're doing it. And she takes everything serious, pays attention to detail, and that's kind of what separates her from other players or most girls or, or just basketball in general. That's what makes you an elite player. Fight through the box, fight through the box. That's take, take the box, take the box. Get one. There you go. Take the left. My name is Adriana Hahn. I'm a Villanova signee and this is my journey. Our, our opponent was St. E's and that's who we were looking at and that's who we were preparing for and so mentally we were just really nervous for that game just because of the past two years we, we lost so we knew that we had to come out strong and what happened in the past was the past and even in the season when we beat them twice um, in the season this year um, we knew that that stuff didn't matter anymore and that the game that we were about to play was now. Beating them, we, it was definitely definitely a relief because they're a big Catholic rivalry um, and they're a great team. So beating them 
it was definitely a relief. And so we came and kind of came into the championship game, kind of like, kind of like dirt off our shoulders. What happened on the other one? Every single time you guys rose to the occasion, we're at our best when we play together, when we're sharing the basketball, when we're playing solid defense, we're communicating, we're checking out, we're hitting, finding, and getting, we're pushing the ball up the floor, spacing, and attacking. Attack on offense, attack on defense. Be smart, hands back, no silly reaching, no bumping, no trying to prove yourself. Team basketball. Team basketball. Let's go out there and let's put it on. Let's, let's go. Put it on. At the end of the championship game, when I went um, and got subbed out after I made my two free throws, um, I went over to the bench, and the first person I hugged with t tears rolling down my face was John Noonan. And at that moment, I remembered the first day that I met him, and that was at St. Anthony's right up the street. And I wasn't even thinking about high school or Ursuline. And well, he was the first person that introduced me to Ursuline. Um, and so I just remembered all the times and all the amazing opportunities and time he has put into getting me better, um, getting my game better, not even just trying to get basketball, my basketball skills better, but like with watching film. Um, with scouting other players, with um, like watching Elena, Elena, or like evaluating other players, and um, seeing people that were older than me, just anything related to basketball, even with my leadership skills, helping me with my teammates, um, and all that stuff, all the amazing opportunities and hard work he has put into getting me better um, was is just amazing, and I cannot thank him enough for everything that he's done for me.